All right, and good morning, and uh, welcome everybody. Welcome, happy happy Monday, creatives out there in the the world of uh, Conceit TV. Want to thank you all for joining me this morning. Um, I, I, you know, I don't always set out to be fashionably late, but uh, today it was uh, because it's one of those things where there's the, the the perfect timing, right? Perfect timing that my camera battery dies just as I completely forget where the charger was located. And so, anyway, it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful kind of cascade of events. And um, you know, if I were a superstitious man, I would think I was uh, hexed in some way. Um, but uh, we'll think positive and think it's just you know one of those flukes. It's a it's a uh, comedic timing maybe that'll be it. Um, but uh, all of that in mind, I wanted to th welcome you all back. We're doing this as our first newscast, and if it is not morning by the time you see this, because we'll be playing it um, throughout the day in the live stream, because I've gotten us a rough draft live stream of Conceit TV up, formerly Spark TV, nay, Spark TV. I think that's how you say that, right? That's how you say that? I don't know. I don't have a producer to look to to, to fact check these sorts of things. I, I'm not Joe Rogan. Um, or like anybody that has a producer, I guess it's not just Joe Rogan. But uh, the point being is that um, we, we've got this, this newscast, we're starting it out to, to begin honing Conceit TV, just as we have this rough draft that plays 24-7 now here on uh, the old system for us and continues to go out and, and be proof of concept and, and really you know look through some of the, the snags, some of the problems, some of... Uh, all of those different uh, those different factors you have to play into building something like this. Um, and at first of all, just as we get into the news of the day, I wanted to talk to you all about the vision for what can CTV is supposed to be. And I guess first of all, the branding um, is that uh, you know I've gave some thought to Conceit as a name for the company, um, but I do want to work towards a culture of you know, investment of our, our different uh, folks that are going to be consuming because I also am looking to do some crowdsourcing things where they'll be producing, you know, being a part of uh, contributing to this thing that uh, we're working to build here with uh, Conceit Media. And so I wanted to also talk about that name. Do you do you like the name? Do you hate the name? Do you think it's crap? You know, is it divisive? Um, that's that's going to be important. And so I want to get more feedback on that. And you can do that, uh, you can, you know, of course, contact me. Um, you can go over to the Spark and leave a comment, maybe, you know, just let us know or leave a comment on this stream and I'll be sure to uh, look for those and to get that feedback in mind because, of course, I use the word conceit in the historic concept, you know, if you've got the conceit of a piece of work of fiction, it's the kind of element that um, sets it off from reality, right? It's the the, the fundamental piece of the puzzle that makes it um, makes it work as a piece of imagination. That, that's what conceit originally meant, and then it became a kind of, basically to mean uh, self-concept, and then of course we end up with uh, just self-obsessed as the, the idea of the conceitedness. Um, so that, that's really where it comes from, trying to reclaim that word, but I understand that can be changed around. Um, but without further ado, uh, I do want to just chat about what what I'm looking to build here, um, and we're going to do a, a video here in the near future to really lay out the pieces and parts of it. But Conceit TV is supposed to be really essentially the future of 24-7 uh, news with an angle towards creatives, creative professionals, because I think that we need that. I think we need, as the world is changing, things rapidly evolving, that I think that we need a resource that can help get us on that cutting edge, keep us abreast of all of the changes in the world. Um, and uh, I think there's plenty of content out there on the interwebs and uh, in the broader world to do that. So part of it's going to be creating algorithms to keep trending news up and, uh, and happening within the feed, um, within the live stream that we put out. And the other part will be using AI to collect information, collect data, collect stories put those together, package those into stories, and, and put them into our live stream, into our playlist. That's the vision for what Conceit TV is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the a faucet, really, that we're going to use AI to build um, data aggregation, 
news collection, you know, all these things that we're going to put together and uh, bring it together in this live stream. Now, I mentioned that crowdsourcing element, right? Um, that's where everybody else comes in. The idea is, of course, that there are so many things up the radar that we want people as well to be in collaboration with our AI to, to help bring about as much useful news as possible. It's, 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 I think this is the future of news, is that it's, it's crowdsourced as much as it is um, you know, automated and, and brought in, uh, bringing in those, those sorts of information pipelines. And so the, the kind of corny way I think about it is that Conceit TV, or whatever we end up naming it, is an inspiration pipeline, right? That's that's corny. That's uh, that's uh, but it's feel good, right? It's it's it brings you those insights, those moments of awe, and, and um, it's meant to help inspire you and, and viewers. And um, the the thing of it is, is that creativity so much of the time happens because we have been feeding our brains new ideas. We've been responding to them enthusiastically, and we've been building all that up. And I want to create a resource, a media source, that then helps to spark that in people, helps to build up that uh, creativity, helps to build up uh, that, that insight. And um, that's, that's what Conceit TV is going to be, is going to be a, a resource for creatives to consume um, the sorts of things that lead to those eureka moments, that lead to those moments of insight. And so that's, that's really what it's going to be about. And part of that has been the Spark, and uh, formerly it was called Spark TV, but that has been changed because Spark TV is like uh, it's like rom coms and family entertainment stuff. Apparently, it already exists, and so unfortunately, we can't do that. Uh, at least, you know, I'm not going to compete for that. So I'm going to try some some other things, and we'll talk about some some other names that we've got uh, in store a little bit down the road. But uh, as for the Sparks headlines today, as for our stories of the day. Um, one of the top ones has been that Apple is breaking new ground in terms of its uh, monetary value, with the, the company hitting $3 trillion. Uh, shares rose 49% in the first half of 2023. Yeah, 20, 49%. Uh, biggest six-month gain since 2009. And so uh, Apple has had some issues with its Vision Pro headset um, that the production is not going to be as large or, as it was hoping to do. Um, and of course, that's that augmented reality headset. Essentially, you put on this headset, right? And through the power of basically clicking with your eyes, you see apps floating in front of you, and uh, you select by looking at them. You know, you you look around at these these, and so that's really what the augmented headset is. And you can check out that video online of um, that Apple lays out the vision there, but. Uh, their manufacturer, it looks like, is going to be only able to produce fewer than 400,000 of those headsets in 2024. Um, meanwhile, Twitter is limiting its uh, its ability to, or its, its users' ability to just, I guess, continuously, endlessly scroll through tweets. Um, and that's going to be capping out at 6,000 tweets a day. You can only read 6,000 tweets a day. I don't know if it's going to be enough, um, but... Uh, it's all there for you, and you'll, 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 have, you'll have some more limits than what you may be used to. Uh, point being is that Musk is uh, there to avoid data scraping, um, and so that, that's been the goal is to... Really, it seems that Twitter, with its different rules about the, uh, the API for Twitter, with charging with that, it, it's really trying to, it appears, to make things more propri proprietary, really trying to build a moat around itself, and so that, that's been the case for Twitter, and, and so that's caused some, some issues with TweetDeck and um, other, other sources there, and so we're, we're watching that story. Um, another story is going to be that there are some pretty interesting and creative-looking watches going on sale at the Palexpo Geneva auction uh, November 5th. Now, if you happen to be made of money, you might be able to go over there. If not, you can always just check, take a look at those... Uh, those really interesting watches over on uh, the Spark, and so that's not an option for you there. But um, and a great meanwhile, we've got uh, Blue Origin is creating some of its uh, first European bases for the company. Of course, Blue Origin being Jeff Bezos's space company. Uh, it's a really a modern space race, but it's uh, gone into private territory. 
Meanwhile, we've got uh, AI regulations. What is going on with AI regulations? Well, there's a lot of different discussion there. Uh, Chuck Schumer is uh, announcing a, a grand strategy for that here in these United States, um, and he's calling for new laws. Uh, senators have introduced a bill that is really intended to exclude AI companies from the Section Section 3, 230, which is all about how online platforms are not liable, they're not responsible for what people put on them or, or do with them, that sort of thing. So user-generated content, uh, they're supposed to be cleared of that. They, they, they're they not responsible uh, under 230, but uh, lawmakers are looking to exclude, um, exclude AI companies from that is so that they have a real responsibility for what they are going to be doing, perhaps to incentivize the companies to have further internal restrictions to keep themselves from getting sued, that sort of thing. Um, all very important uh, and uh, really will change the dynamics going on here in the near future for AI. In the meantime, and this is the story that we led with today, it's the robot conductor and um, it was from the National Theater of Korea, um, asking, can robots replace conductors? That seems to be the question. And so that has been an experiment over in uh, the National Orchestra of Korea. It's been an experiment with uh, for several years, and now they have Ever6, an Android developed by Korea's Institute of Industrial Technology, and it's supposed to stand on stage and uh, really conduct. And so that, uh, that's been an interesting thing is to, well, pretty much any job plus robots really gets into an interesting equation uh, to help us uh, imagine what's next in this, uh, this kind of dialectic of, of change that's going on in the world. So we'll have to wait, wait and see what's going on there. Hope that you all are enjoying the spark. Hope that you all are enjoying Conceit TV. We appreciate you all being here. We'll be back, uh, no doubt, in the near future with uh, more here on uh, the, the channel, streaming 24-7 and eventually streaming 24-7 with, with more content. But uh, that's been the vision. And the announcement that we were making today is that uh, my goal is to begin a fundraising effort through Kickstarter to help make that broad vision of an AI-run and crowdsourced news channel happen. And so that's going to be the, the project here in the near future, and we will be updating you with more. We're going to use the Spark as a platform, as a vehicle for updates on that and to, to get people in the know and to get people looped in and, and start forging that community that can help lead to uh, building this thing, this this really circuitry, this this loop of information that goes from uh, sourced from, from multiple people, multiple multiple individuals, and uh, brought together into a, a comprehensive whole, a gestalt whole that uh, can help us all learn and grow and sharpen our creative edge. So thank you all for joining me today. Appreciate your time. Uh, hope that you all have a great Monday. Hope that you all have a great week. Till next time, Clayton Hester signing out.